Hello, and welcome to my first look at Planet Crafter. Yes, this is, uh, I found on Steam, and it is a base builder style survival game. And I tell you what, this is an impressive little game. And right now, uh, it has a prologue and demo version uh, for its early access. And I just wanted to get into it to show everybody because if you are looking for just a, a really relaxing game to be able to play with, you know, there's no killing involved or anything like that. It's just exploration, building your base, and turning the planet uh, into a habitable planet. And this thing is, believe it or not, pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to start a new game here. We're going to go ahead and hit create. Now, if you notice, it's quiet. And that was kind of a turnoff, but you have to remember this is early access. So I'm hoping the developer adds some type of music or some type of sound effects while you're in this screen. But it's not a turnoff. It's just we have to remember it's early access. So we're going to go ahead and load this up. And... It immediately plops you into here. Now, I did see in uh, another game where it was like uh, uh, satisfactory, where you had the crash landing type, you know, fire, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know if he, they're doing a rework or they just took it out for the prologue demo. That I don't know. So here you read the message and then, of course, you know, it tells you to make a, a blue atmosphere so it's okay you know it's pretty it's pretty much straightforward so it's like okay fine we can do this and then up in the top left screen it gives you you know the first things that you need to do but if you look down on the lower side of the screen our health which is food water and our o2 you know, they're all going down. The O2 is not because this is our base and it's a safe area. It's oxygenated, so life is good. And then in here, they give you some basic supplies. You have prepackaged space food, which uh, you want to be really careful using this at the very beginning of the game because unless you find more space food, you will starve to death. So your first several times that you play this, you're probably going to wind up dying because you don't have food. So that's, it is what it is. You have to really start exploring real quick to find more space food, but eventually you'll be able to start growing it. Now I can tell you right now, the first couple deaths, yeah, it was a pain, but then you get in the swing of things of what you need to do and then starting to find space food is pretty easy now water you can make that's no big deal but this seed thing you're going to wind up needing uh to create oxygen now the cool thing is is while you're foraging around the map you will find other seeds like uh, mushrooms and squash eggplants that you can actually grow so it's pretty cool i mean, this is the developer has a pretty well thought out game here uh it's it's super it's actually super easy to play so we click left click on this and here we have to find two cobalt to make an oxygen uh recharge here another water bottle you just need one piece of ice you're going to need a backpack to store your stuff. Uh, and then, of course, larger oxygen tanks to let you go out for longer periods of time. Then this is your construction tool, uh, which is also your mining tool. This will uh, is another mode uh, for your mining tool to where you can tear things apart. And then, of course, this is a light. Now, the keys on this are kind of funky. Yes, you have your your ASWD keys for forward and backwards and all that, so that's fine. But then your Q, uh, I, matter of fact, let me do a couple things first so I can show you all of this. We need to go. Uh, we need to go get some stuff first. So we need to get some iron. We need to craft some water bottles. 
So let's get some of this stuff made so we can uh, do this. So right here, let's go just hurry up and go grab some stuff. Now, if you notice, the oxygen is going down. My food's slowly going down. The water, everything while I'm out here is going down. Now, it is what it is. Don't panic. Now, you do have to get kind of close to this stuff to mine it. So that's kind of, you know, it is what it is. So then we'll go run back to our base here. And let's see what we can get crafted up. Now, we do have ice. So that's all you have to do. That's, that's how simple the crafting is here. Now, we can't make this because we don't have silicone or magnesium can't make that I can't make that ooh but I can make my backpack so let's go ahead and make the backpack it'll throw it into your inventory right here and these are the slots that we have so what we can go ahead and do is just left click it it puts it in the bar super easy now let's see better oxygen so we need to go find some magnesium so let's run over and I know what magnesium looks like so it's a little bit easier for me this little thing right over here this is magnesium so we have that this little sparkly is iron that's ice this is cobalt and let me show you what titanium looks like titanium that's iron okay this is titanium they look like little brains so that's titanium so let's run back here because you do have to watch your oxygen levels it's the quickest way to die in this game is your oxygen so we have that let's go ahead and make our oxygen tank so that's cool and we just left click it so now we have 145 oxygen levels so life is good so you know we're, we're getting along this is, like I said, this is a super easy game to play. And it's not stressful whatsoever. Now I'm going to put these things here because I like equipping at least one oxygen tank. I like to equip one food. Now let's go grab a piece of ice because I like carrying two, two water things. Now the trick with the water thing is it will fully uh, fill your bar. Now the food thing will only fill your bar halfway so you want to make sure that when you start replenishing this stuff you want to make sure you don't waste it because like right now I could drink water from my water bottle but it would be a waste because I'm only covering up this until it hits me with a warning I'm not gonna drink my water now with the space food yeah, space food, I wait till it warns because you have very little to start with. Now, if we look at the top left, it's telling us to build that uh, the construction tool. So, what does it take? A couple silicone, two magnesium. So, let's go run out and see if we can find that. Now, your silicone is a little bit more of a pain because it's like a little black mass. And right here we have some magnesium and like right here that's silicone but from a distance it can look like titanium so it's a little bit of a pain so we need to find one more silicone and we'll be good but make sure you don't travel too far away from your little spacecraft there or you're going to be in trouble and so if you hold down the shift and w key you can run i recommend always running because if not yeah you're gonna you're gonna ruin your day so now we have that we'll go ahead and craft up this water and then we're gonna go ahead and craft up our construction tool and now this is the really cool part is hit tab for your inventory and just go ahead and left click this now we have a construction mode enabled 
And what that does for us is if you hit the Q key now, these are all the stuff that we can build. So here you have your own uh, habitat and they connect together. You need this, uh, the compartment door to get inside it. Now it generates its own oxygen. So they're like your little mini base, but you can grow it to something really large. And uh, I've, I've already put in like five or six hours in this game. And I got a nice cool little base going on. And it's, it's, you could play this game what you think is like 15 minutes and you look up at the clock and it's been two hours. That's, th that's how this game is. Now, if you're looking to kill stuff and you're looking for fall damage and health and, and you need all that, okay, this game's not going to be for you because that's not in the game. I don't even know if they're going to put that in the game yet. But this is for a relaxing game where you get to build stuff, turn the planet green, grow plants, and explore. This map is all about exploration. So let's go ahead and drink some water, even though it's not warning me, but I just want to show you how to do it. Now you hit tab for your inventory, and all you have to do is right click on the water and see it fully filled it up. I actually wasted some of this water bottle, but it is what it is. So now it's going to tell you to craft the living compartment. So you just hit Q and find out what you need. You need two iron and a titanium. So let's go ahead and we'll grab a titanium there. Let's grab a couple titanium. I mean, uh, iron. So let's see if we can find ourselves some more iron. They don't have waypoints on the map to make things easier for you. You have to just search it out and gather it up. So now the one thing I do recommend is just go ahead and, and just come in here and look at what you need. So you have uh, the living compartment door because right now we should have enough for right there. Two iron titanium, I can build that. Now, I wish it would give you the actual number of items that you have in your inventory because if I highlight over there, it says I have enough to build it. But if we look at my tab, I actually only have two iron. So hopefully they will fix that in the game and actually give you the actual number of items that you have in your inventory so you'll know what's going on because I made this mistake and I actually ran out of oxygen and died because I thought I had enough materials to build both. Unfortunately, I didn't. So I need to go collect another piece of iron, another piece of titanium, and another piece of silicone, I do believe. Yes. So I'm going to open this up because I do have titanium in here and I have another piece of iron. So now let's go after a piece of silicon. And that is not it. I think this is a piece. Yes, it is. So there we go. Now we can build our very first doohickey. So <laughs> I should say living compartment, but okay. We'll just build it anywhere. Just so you can see how it's done. It's so easy to do. Hit Q. Click left click on your building compartment and you unfortunately it won't let you rotate which hopefully they'll add that into the game but yeah right now it's not available so we build that and then we'll hit our Q again and we'll put in the, the door now this you can rotate which is funny but you can rotate it here but it's uh, it's gonna auto snap there so you know, it is what it is. So um, let's go ahead and it's high, but it'll it'll still, still let you in. So that's kind of wonky, but it's not a game breaker. It's not. It's You can put a ladder there or you can jump. It's up to you. Now, notice I don't have anything in here. If I want to use this as a base, I'm going to have to build a crafting station. So let's go out and grab some iron and some silicone. 
But see, right, right now what it's telling me is to craft a drill. Now, if I went and placed this thing a lot further away, I'd have to keep on running over to my little space module. Oh, wait a minute. No, I... I I take that back. This, the, these, this small little crafting station is only for this. Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. So we want to craft the drill. What we go ahead and do is we hit Q. We need to get titanium and iron. Do I have any more titanium in here? Yes, I do. So we just need a piece of iron. So let's see if we can find a little piece of iron. Now notice the music. The music is relaxing. It's not overbearing and it's just it's just fun I like how they, they have the dust and all that shading around and all that other fun stuff so let's go ahead and place the drill so with the drill you can rotate it you can you know wherever you decide to place it is where it's going to go so we throw the drill on and bam now it's hard to see it but it's building pressure and it's consuming energy now this is where it is kind of wonky because since we haven't built the terraformation screen so you really don't know what's going on so to me it would have been nice if uh they would have changed the order and have you build the terraformation screen and then the mine but see how it's giving me a, a power warning that once that thing overpowers i guess the batteries from here i don't know what it does but you, we're eventually going to lose power and the drill will stop working everything stops working except for crafting so we need to build one of these so let's go find a piece of iron now this has a different type of power grid than what we're all used to. Only thing you have to do is place the power thing on the map. You don't have to build it close to your base or anything like that. See, like right now, I could probably just place it right here and see how it says power restored. And with how they, the developer set this up is you can place power anywhere on your map and it finds its way back to your base. Is it kind of wonky? Yeah, but you know what? I don't care. It's, it, it doesn't bother me because it's, you could have areas so you can make your base look pretty, all that fun stuff, and you can put your power someplace else. So is it very realistic? No. But maybe the developer down the road will put power lines in or some type of grid. I don't know. But is it a game breaker? No. It's it's still a, a fun to play game. Now, if you notice, I've gotten my, my food meter down quite a bit. So... We're going to go ahead and right click. See how it says restore health to 50? Well, this is the funky part is this one shows the number, but the other ones don't. So I wish the developer would add the number here so you know if you're going to be wasting the food or not. So let's go ahead and eat it and see how it didn't fill up the bar all the way. So I'm going to assume this bar is 100. I could be wrong I don't know but yeah so now that's one less food pack that we have so we can't dawdle around so let's go ahead and let's build this terraformation screen and right here this is what we want so we need iron cobalt and silicone so blue there's the cobalt. There's a piece of silicone. And let's find our... Oh, I saw a glittery one over here. So this is iron. And then we can run back to our little pod here. Now, like I said, I can expand on this, which I'll have to. Because 
I'm going to need room for crafting and all that other fun stuff. So let us just put our little screen right here and we'll hit Q and we'll hit our terraformation screen and you just you can set it anywhere on here. Now you can just go ahead and put it here halfway covering up the wall and you can rotate these. So if you wanted to put it in the corner and kind of waste space, uh, you, you, I guess it won't let you do it. But because they said something about adding uh, curved things in. So I don't know. But so we'll go ahead and place that here. And these are our things that we need to do. We need to get our oxygen level up. We need to get heat up. We need to get pressure up. And this little TI number is just your progress in how far uh, to turn the sky blue. So we need to get up to 175 KTI. But I can tell you this right now, at 175 KTI, the game stops. Uh, the prologue ends. So there is a... they did put a little of a workaround to where you continue on in the game, but I'm not going to go into that in this episode. So we just drank water. And so now we need to start doing some stuff and let's go ahead and let's add on to this because this is kind of cool. So let's go get some more iron and titanium. And this game will get you hooked. This is, if, if you just like a nice builder game and controlling your own supplies and stuff like that, this, this game is actually addictive. So we'll go ahead and put that there. And this is, so now we have another room. It's that simple. And you get a, uh, down the road, you get to add windows and all sorts of other things. And it's really cool. You can, uh, put a clear ceiling up so you can look up at the sky and if you have multiples of these things stacked on top of each other you put a clear floor down you have like a little tube ladders and all that it's it's actually really cool so we need to get this blueprint screen going and so i'm going to go build a desk i want a desk because since these things basically sit on a desk I don't want to put them on the floor. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a few items here. Just uh, basically play a fish and just snag up some things before I fill up my inventory. So do I have enough stuff? Can I build? Okay, I can build that, which is a crafting machine. So I'm going to put a crafting machine in here. So I don't have to run to my little capsule. And I'm going to put my crafting machine right over here. So we just click on it. And we can rotate this one. And I'm just going to put it right by the door. See how the power just went out? I'm sucking up too much power. So now I have to go craft another wind generator. So I'm just going to toss all my wind generators over here so they're not close to my little outpost. So yeah, I just hit Q and I'm just going to put one right there. Now see how everything turned back on? Life is good. While power was off, this wasn't doing its mining thing. So, and it, especially when you start growing your own food and you're creating oxygen and heat and all that if you run out of power all that stuff turns off and that's kind of a bummer so can we we don't have the iron to make my desk yet so we need to run out and go grab some iron now it's getting dark well usually if i would have built my light i could hit the f key and i could see things well unfortunately i didn't do that now See, I can already build, I did a skill up, and that's a great thing with the skill ups. When you put stuff on the map, like your mines, your miners, and some other equipment, you'll be able to see uh, the blueprint menu of stuff that you can go for to build. Now, since we're not that far ahead, 
and we're a little behind here you're not getting to see any of that and that's kind of a bummer so let's go ahead and I'm gonna place the desk right here so I'm gonna hit the Q menu and I'm gonna build my desk and of course you can move it around you can turn it all that other fun stuff so we'll plop it right there and do I have the materials to build my blueprint screen I do so let's go ahead and we'll turn that here and we'll go ahead and place it somewhere here on the desk and now we can look at what it's doing now see how our terraforming is going up it's going to slowly unlock stuff for us so at 300 ti we'll be able to have a new backpack when we have an oxygen generator we're going to be able to get the indoor ladder so we can have two three four story uh bases and then then we can start heating which will open up this menu and here you get the veggie tube where you start created creating oxygen but since we have the miner it's already unlocked the oxygen tank for us so it's 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 not a grindy game you can just put the certain items down on the map and it'll start doing things for you so it gives you time to go out and explore and gather materials and all that other fun stuff now remember how i told you you can starve to death in this game well yes and there's several ways to cure that one they have blue chests around let's see if i can find one for us they're they're all over the map okay there's a blue chest way over here so let's run over and we can click on the blue chest and see it has food it also has a microchip that so we can unlock a blueprint so let's go ahead and take all this now if i would have had put the deconstruct doohickey on my uh toolbar or if i would have crafted it i could destroy this and get a piece of iron out of it because that's what it takes to build these so right now i have not crafted all the necessary tools that i need to play around on the map but let me show you this this is really cool because now that we have uh, a chip you come over here and see where it says decode blueprint microchip well let's go ahead and decode it and it gave us a mining speed upgrade so we can turn around and we can craft that and if we go over here see how we can uh, craft this and we can just put it in our toolbar and our little mining thing that we hold mines those nodes a whole lot faster so we've built this and you can see that when I open up my inventory screen right now we can only hold four items so we have the light that we can build so we can see in the dark and then we have the deconstructing tool you're going to want these two things when you go out exploring except except ugh, especially if when you go to explore like that broken ship over there you're going to want those tools in your craft bar now the one thing you, a trick you want to do in the game is you want to build the stuff that are going to create these unlocks like the heater the heater is going to unlock stuff like that for us and we have several items in the game that will create this stuff for us so see how we have the planner the planner creates oxygen this one right here creates pressure the drill and the heater creates heat so when you go this requires oxygen so we're going to want to get as many we want to get multiple of these things built to make this category up faster so that's how you get these things going so if you put down multiple drills multiple heaters multiple vegetable tanks or veggie oxygen producing tanks these will go up faster and your overall ti level goes up faster and you'll slowly watch the sky turn blue now they have a couple they have one event in here which is crazy and that's here it comes oh no 
First, I was thinking it was the asteroid storms. Yes, we get asteroids. Do you get hurt on it? No. Does it kill you? No. But it sure scares the hell out of you, especially when you're sitting in your base and an asteroid hits and it, like, slams into the inside of your base. Now, does it damage anything? No. Right now, I don't think any of that's implemented in the game. I'm sure the developer's going to add that, but for right now, it doesn't do anything. So, it is really cool. And I think I, I, it hasn't been implemented in the game, but in one of the videos that I saw, uh, when an asteroid crashes, it does leave an item that you can mine. Now, it's not available in the prologue or anything like that right now that I've seen. So, but my understanding that's going to be in the game is what my understanding is. I could be wrong. I do not know the developer. I have nothing to do with the studio. None of that. So, I'm just, just like you. Just a regular person playing a game. So, but we need to eat something and we need to drink something or we're going to be in trouble. So, I'm going to drink some water. Now, I'm going to starve to death. <laughs> not yet. But I hate my uh, food bar getting that low. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. And we're going to eat a food pack. Now, we're slowly running out of food. We, we don't have much time. So this is where you have to make a decision. You could either run the risk of exploring for the blue containers. And hopefully they'll have food in them which I don't think I am close enough to reach because there's one over in this area but I don't think I have enough oxygen level to reach it but I do have an on uh, an oxygen container on me that I can recharge with this might be a death run I think it is but yeah see it's way over there We'll, we'll go ahead and do a, a death run. Because I don't think I can grab it and run my and run back. I don't think I can. We might. And this one has food in it. has a couple food in it. I want the food really bad. So let's just take the food. And let's run back. See, it's already telling me my oxygen level's low. So let's go over... And I don't have water. <laughs> oh, but I have oxygen. That's what I need. Come on. There we go. Why was I thinking water? Yeah. So you definitely want to make oxygen. But this is where you'd want to put out a small little base for replenishment. Because I know if I keep going that direction, there's another wreck. I haven't explored that wreck yet. But there are wrecks all over this map. There's hidden secrets all over this map. It is it is just fun to explore. And you have to manage your food and your oxygen and your water to get to get out there and check this stuff out. So this has kind of been a long first look. So this I can tell you right now. If you are looking for just a fun builder game with some uh, management of your food, your water, and all that. And if you like to be really creative, like for your base building and all that, I am absolutely going to have to highly recommend this game. When this game comes out, I'm actually going to buy it. Because this is one of those games where you can play through it, get to the end content, put it away and come back a week, two months later and play it again and have just as much fun with it as your very first time. So I'm gonna give this game a total thumbs up and I'm actually gonna do a playthrough on it because I had that much fun playing this game. Is it a complicated game? No. But if you wanna like get home, you've had a stressful day and you just, you just want to enjoy playing a game without the, all the nonsense and the headaches or anything like that. I'm absolutely going to recommend this game. 
So hopefully you enjoyed this playthrough or this first look. And I'm going to do a playthrough on it because I, I really, I hope this creator does awesome things with this game. And I really hope that this creator is successful with this game because yeah, it's a very niche building game, but if you just want a really relaxing game to play, this is definitely a go-to game. So thank you for your time. I'm Larry. I have the Kari Nation channel. And if you like videos like this, or if you really like settlement survival, then you might want to subscribe to the channel. So thank you for your time. Bye.